Yeah, look at me, dog. Set three in pass. What? Don't mind if I do. Sure, I'll take the W. What's going on, my boys? YT Dan back at it again to play Shiranui a simulator. Now, I was doing a live stream earlier today, and I will not lie, your boy was wiped out, uh, as well as my life points. But um, I'm back, my boys. We're going to be getting in here. You're going to have to rank up. And I brought my Thunder Dragon Beast. And, and you've seen the deck before. I've seen it many times. But take a look at the deck list right now. All right, my boys, I know I did you a little bit different. Typically, I don't just jump from the duel right into the deck, but I mean, hey, it's 2020, the world's on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like it and I never get bored. So look, we're playing Thunder Dragons and we brought the beast back and we're using our double sarks. We're using Karma Cut and we also added a new beast, Mama Grizzly. Mama Grizzly gets in there because it helps you get out your Kwan and in the missing space of, you know, running three gold sarks, Mama Grizzly is just really good. I'm only using two Deep Sea Diva because, hey, you don't want to brick on having three. And if sometimes I draw both Deep Sea Divas. I would prefer to have both Deep Sea Divas in my hand on the first turn rather than have two Deep Sea Divas in my hand on the first turn and one Deep Sea Diva in the deck with three or four level six monsters in my hand. That doesn't mean I'm going to lose. But <laughs> I like to just run two because two makes it run a lot better. And it's Karma Cut, helps out the synergy, also works with the theme of banishing. Pretty much the same extra deck that I've always used. Christron, Quarion Gandrax, the boss monster, the ultimate boss monster of this deck. I mean, realistically, this deck is full of boss monsters like Thunder Dragon Duo. And I, you could maybe say Thunder Dragon Roar is a bar, boss monster, but with Beatdown, he's definitely a boss monster. But we got out these all these other crazy boss monsters and the main big boss monster, the one that punishes Shirnu truly, first on Quarion Gandrax, is, you know, the best card. Cause he can banish three cards from the field or the grave. It's, a, it's an awesome card for this uh, Shiranui meta. Also, we're running one Vermilion, so we can combo with our Thunder Dragon Duo and Quan. We are also running one Black Rose Dragon, cause it's clutch. We are also running my avatar, Dark in the Dragon, the beast that smiles in the darkness. This card is amazing. It can just kill a guy. And, uh, <laughs> and, that's, and that's what we like, you know, target, kill, get out of here. And then we also have Powered Injectron, really powerful card. Using Quan and your Thunder Dragon Dark pretty much saves you from dying um, for that turn. And then you also have Samurai Destroyer, which is just a meta breaking card. And then we have his little brother that he brought along, um, the Sword Breaker. And just like your little brother who doesn't even really know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! As you can see, this man has everything in his deck. Look at this. He has a mace. He has a broadsword. He has a samurai sword. What else is that? Yeah. Fucking speed cone. A rocket. <laughs> like, it's, it's ridiculous. A shovel. This man is, he's a madman. So clearly, this deck is not for the faint of heart. We use the beat down to clap him on the second turn. Because, you know, once, once you use beat down and you got Thunder Dragon Duo activated, this is a 3900 beat stick. I mean, he's beating everybody's ass. So don't sleep on the deck. Don't sleep on Thunder Dragons. The time has come to never miss yet again. Now enjoy the rest of this video. All right, boys, we're getting in there against uh, apparently the literal Seto Kaiba. And he's playing Shiranui. Innovative Kaiba. Very innovative. We're gonna try to punish this man. We use the power of our thunder dragons. And hopefully, we can hit him with the god. Samurai skull dog. Good job. Yeah, look at me, dog. Set three in pass. What? Don't mind if I do. Sure, I'll take the W. <laughs> sure, I'll win the game. Oh, he's got. Bruh. Now that's just rude. Uh, Sure, 
I guess. Yes. That's just rude, bro. That's just fucking rude, okay? I don't come to your house lancing your shit. Rude. No respect these kids nowadays. Just lance this, lance that. Lance for your back or lance for your banish. Oh, <laughs> looks like he's gonna have to receive some a karma. <laughs> and he just might like, get cut. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. I'll take 17 with pride. So. With pride. Bet you wish you had your lance for that. Bet you wish you had Lance for that. Come over here and give me that 16. <sighs> I mean 17. <sighs> Did you hear the crowd? They literally went wild. Dodo. <laughs> Do you have another Lance for this? Sure, I'll win the game, as I said before. So manage this. Use its effects. Go ahead and summon this out from the deck. We're gonna go ahead and hit that uh, advanced Shokan. Yes. Go ahead search my deck for the Hulk. Yeah. Got that old Warhawk on you. Thunder Dragon. Bring back my beast. Uh, that was Gold Star. So I'll bring back the one from the grave. Oh no. Yes. From the graveyard. And then one light, Zoop. one dark, Zoop. Thunder Dragon Duo. Prepare yourself. Try not to wet yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. From Japan, another Shiranui player. Let's punish the Shiranui. Can I get in the comments? Punish the Shiranui. We gotta, we gotta play punishment games on all the shit movie. We have to. We're obligated at this point. This is insulting, actually. I'm disgusted. I opened up with two DC Divas and Quan. No, not a single Thunder Dragon in sight. At least I got Karma Cut. She did. Oh no. Why? Why is he playing tri mids? It's not a sink or a bet, bro. Uh, I'm this man. This is on the field. He wants to return to the opponent's time with the title. Okay, this is a <coughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to hit him with that karma cut. We're gonna go ahead and drop Diva. Be gone, please. One set, two set, and let me draw a gold start. But oh. Alright, let's do it. Gold start at two, baby. Go start at two, dog. Roar the effect. Thunder Dragon Dark. Flip Summon, Synchro Summon, Black Rose Dragon. <laughs> Are you ready? Thunder Dragon Darks effect, Black Rose Dragon effect. Sure, but blow all that shit up for me. Thank you. And uh, gonna be grabbing the Warhawk. And uh, let's see. And activate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> try me <mid> down. <laughs> Well, the last guy wasn't a Shiranui player, but we're gonna try to get 
one more Shiranui duelist. We gotta punish the Shiranui people. Hello? Okay, here I come. All right. Be right back, boys. Duty calls. Whew. All right, I'm back. Whew. Sorry about that. I apologize to my opponents. I apologize to the boys. All that waiting. He's like, all that waiting? And he just played Quan. He's probably mad. Sorry. Whew. Man. Me and a dad. is All right. God. Lordy. Look at this maniac. <laughs> you think he's playing Sheer Nui or something? Hell yeah! Uh. Actually, sent all this back. But, uh. Alright. And I'll drop this too. And let us do it. Excellent. Excellent. These are the cards that I require for victory. All right. Here's my Hawks effect. And now summon Thunder Dragon Dark. But I'm not done. I advance summon. Thunder Dragon Rule. Dark Suffolk. Thunder Dragon Duo. And now I use Thunder Dragon Duo. Come forth, my beast. Hmm. Are you ready? I'm giving everybody a boost. Another one. Here we come. It's time for battle. Impossible. <laughs> really? All right. I'll bring back Quad. Did you not know? Return to me, my beast. <laughs> Go, Thunder Dragon Duo! Fiendish Chain, you maniac! Thunder Dragon Roar! I'll take on the full power of your back row. Come on. All right, we in there, boys. All right, boys, we're in there. All right, here we go. This is where the combos get spicy. Cause I got a pretty good, I mean, I very good chance of uh, surviving and being able to win on the next turn. Very good chance. All depends on what he does. That's fine. I mean, honestly, if I was playing the Shiranui and I was playing against this deck, I may have, I would have fiendish chain the Quan in attack position and, oh no, no, he karma cut it. Yeah, he fiendish chain, I guess, to survive, yeah. No, he had to, okay, that makes sense. He had to. If he didn't, he would have perished. It's big boy son saga. In the Shogun Saga. 55 of those things. Sweet Jesus. 55 of those things about to run muck. And run rough shot on my life points. And he's debating. He's like, should I kill this Roar? Because he's going to get a free card. Or should I kill this Duo that has Fiendish Chain on it? So if he kills Duo, 
that gives me access to duo. If he leaves duo, that leaves a brick on my field and uh, prevents me from doing a lot of different plays. But he doesn't know the contents of my deck, so he doesn't know that. So whatever choice he makes, I'm sure he's thinking on it really hard. And you know, he must be allowed this time because I had to run off her. So come on. Nani? <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I would say, is he scooping or something? Like, I don't know why he uh, did what he did just, just now. Um. I'm gonna banish the card. Did I already get a search this turn? Let me see. He did this. Some true Nui. I did this, so yeah, I'm gonna banish. Or bring bring it back, sorry, not banish it. Oh, I'm negated. I forgot. It doesn't even matter. Dodo. <laughs> I'm negated. Alright. We have an interesting proposition here because depending on what he does, I mean, what this is, is win or lose here. We have equal life points. Check my extra. Oh, I don't have a lot of time. All right. Uh. Negate it. All right, what we got here? Summoned it. Okay, well, say good night. Come forth, my beast. The beast who greeted through the darkness, my dark and dragon. Punish the Shiver Noon players. <laughs> Punishment. <laughs>